what's up atc gang welcome back to my birthday countdown video day four all right y'all y'all see this hot mess so you should already know what's about to go down let's get into this under kitchen sink cabinet organization don't judge me guys oh my god i'm embarrassed so this is an accumulation of years of just keeping stuff i don't need like that box was you know a bunch of dog supplies i haven't had a pet in about three four years now look at this mess chewed up bags why do i have chewed up bags chewed up cords so that's an indication that there are rats now thank god i no longer live in this home i mean it was just too much so i still wanted to do the under cabinet organization because you know why not i wanted to have everything nice and clean and ready to go so that once we got to our new home i wouldn't have to worry about this so this is just all types of stuff y'all it all make no sense and i legit look like a little bit of a hoarder <laughs> so all of these random papers i keep those those are the circulars that come in the mail so i keep them so that um you know i can clean my mirrored surfaces so it was just a combination of cleaning products hair products a bunch of uh papers um you know just to clean down everything so the first thing i did is just took my time and removed everything that i look at that chicken bones come on now chicken bones these rats is disrespectful so i removed everything from up under the cabinet and swept it all out once i saw those chicken bones i was honestly scared to stick my hand back in there y'all i ain't even gonna lie so i was like you know what let me bring out this broom so i went ahead and gave it a nice uh you know sweeping and then i'm gonna come in with my favorite cleaner micro bands so i just wanted to show y'all you know like the cabinet itself sorry about that footage it was kind of shaky but so i came in with my micro band and then my son is going to help me uh wipe it down for anyone that's new to my channel let me stop and introduce myself hello my name is cicely i am a disabled mother of two young boys by way of sickle cell anemia and i felt it was important to just document our lives and show that if i can keep going even through uh monthly hospitalizations i want to encourage you that no matter what life throws your way you can do it and we can do it together we can you know knock this thing called life out and that was Caden, my co-host, coming to say hello. So we enjoy posting vlogs, decorate with me's, cleaning videos, recipes, and a lot of DIYs. If y'all like DIYs and decor videos, make sure you check out yesterday's video because we did a whole focal wall. So if you enjoy content like that go ahead and make sure you subscribe now like i said we already moved from this location but i wanted to go ahead and show you how to treat for mice or rats if you need to so you see that big hole back there always look for holes in the cabinetry and i filled it with the poisoning and some steel wool i'm sweating y'all so kaden help me uh, we cleaned out the inside of the cabinet. I put the rat poisoning in the hole, as you can see. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you the organizational supplies that I purchased to uh, get the cabinet together. And again, this is the stuff that's left, the shampoo. Uh, I think I'll keep that under the sink. I gotta keep the duckies, cause we bathe. Um, our son in the sink because it's easier sometimes this is some um, vegetable wash the bath and body hand soaps and then these containers i have to figure out what i'm going to do with them so i got this drawer from amazon and all this stuff came from amazon i got this organizational system from amazon I went ahead and got a set of dish towels. I got a set of silicone sponges, a set of cellulose sponges, my e-cloth. If y'all don't know about the e-cloth, do some research. It's awesome. All you need is water. And then here are my cleaning supplies. I have more wipes, the toilet wand thing. 
I got some soap. My son picked out the soap. Although, um, even my 10 year old prefers actual, you know, like palm olive because it suds up better. You know, you got to have your Mrs. Myers. So we got one hand soap, one dish soap. And then all of my cleaners, I basically just use Clorox glass cleaner. This is the almond floor cleaner. Some uh, multi-surface spray. And you got to have your micro band. So I'm going to decant all of this stuff next. Pour it in the jars. And then we will begin to, to take all of this stuff and put it back down under the cap. I respect the plot twist where you always save me. We're the good part, we never fake it. Even if it hurts, we always say it. So all of these uh, clear containers you see me filling up came from Amazon and this was advertised as a like a soap pump and I use this one to fill up my finish you know the little dishwasher stuff so now I'm just gonna add my labels to everything this set came from uh, Amazon and it had two different types two different shapes of chalkboard labels so I'm gonna add my stickers and then pull out my chalk marker and label everything and then we will move on to the next step if you are enjoying the video thus far do me a huge favor and give the video a big thumbs up this does you know leaps and bounds as far as circulating my video through youtube i have a goal this year to reach 2000 subscribers and i'd love if, if you would help me get there So this right here is all of my cleaners. I have uh, the almond cleaner. I have a water, two micro bins, uh, two pine sauce, and two Clorox cleaners. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill up the drawers. I put my Cascade tablets in the top drawer and in the bottom I'm just taking the time to cut these um, you know, wall cleaning sponges in half. Uh, these are the a mix between the ones from the Dollar Tree and the actual magic erasers. They both work wonders. And in the second set for the top drawer, I'm taking out all of my wax melts to put up there. And I'll also be adding the Glade plugins in the back of this drawer. Once I get that filled, I'll go on to the bottom. And in the bottom drawer, I think I took the time to cut in half my uh, blue sponges that you scrub dishes with. And I stored those in the bottom uh, drawer. A lazy Susan for the cleaning products and behind the lazy Susan I'm adding the stuff that go that are in aerosol cans um, as well as the items I don't really use as often the stuff in the front I use more often than the stuff in the back 
and then I'm gonna take the time to put in all of my cleaning products like I said I have two of each so I'm just organizing them as I see fit and I'll let you enjoy this process and come back when I'm done faces. I've heard all the lies but you ain't gazing on someone in denial cause you want down bills right now but you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy so let your guard down and I say All right, y'all, let's do this reveal. So as I open the cabinets, when I tell you, I am beyond the moon and the stars with the outcome. So all the way in the back of the cabinet, like I was saying before, those are my cleaning products uh, that obviously aren't liquid. So the toilet one refills and the wipes, glass cleaner and Lysol, I have those in the front because I'm gonna use them more often. And then the carpet cleaner and carpet shampoo products are all the way in the back of the cabinet against the wall. So as I put that stuff back, you can get a clear uh, view of the front. And on my Lazy Susan, I have all of my cleaning products that I use on a daily, as well as the hand cleaning, um, you know, soaps and my son's little duckies. I just love the way this turned out. Leave me a comment down below if you feel like, you know, this is something that you can implement or if it's, you know, sometimes you see things and it's like, all right, this is cute for Pinterest, but can I actually keep this system up? And I'm telling you, we've actually been keeping this system up. So now that you've seen everything that's over there, now we see the right side of the cabinet, how I have the little dishwasher pods stored at the top and then the magic erasers at the bottom. And in the third drawer, I have all of our air fresheners for the home. And in the bottom drawer are the little scrubbing things for the dishes. And last but not least, I saw that, you know, I wanted to utilize the back of the space. So this takes up the height so you can't see the junk or the clutter in the back. So in the back is all of our shampoos, and, you know, that stuff that we just don't use as often. So that's stored back there. And this little uh, true two pull out drawer system came in handy because I was able to store our sponges and our trash bags in the top. And then in the bottom pullout drawer, we are storing all of our hand towels. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed filming it. So be blessed, you guys. I've seen those faces. I've heard all the lies. But you ain't gazing. On someone in denial Cause you want down bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard